Hey, we had a little trouble with our on-field microphone, but we didn't want to lose our time with Carter Martins, who I couldn't hear what you said out there, but I'm sure it was brilliant. So we're going to reenact that last moment. Carter wanted to bring you on and talk about that inning you pitched as we see this pitch sail through, a strike fouled back, and the top of the three rolls on with Carter Martin's team leading 5-2. to two. So, Carter, you, you head out there to pitch the second inning. What was your feeling taking the field before you threw your first pitch to your first batter? Um, I was feeling kind of nervous. I haven't played on this stage before in a long time. So just trying to throw strikes, let them hit it. So you threw strikes. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a little breaking ball, apparently. Yeah, I just learned it this year. So Did you really? Yeah. I would not have guessed that, the way you threw that. Great job. You, you handled the, the counts really well. You, you threw the ball well. As you've seen, if you were watching the first part of this game, these guys can hit. There were, there were what, seven runs, I think, on the board, or six runs on the board between the two teams by the time you took the, the, the hill. Yeah. Uh, you know, to go three up, three down on all-star hitters, that's probably abnormal. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't think that's something that happens very often. So, first of all, good job. Thank you. There's a nice single, a good swing on a, another off-speed pitch, pretty solid pitch, but a good job of hitting there for Ethan Cox, who slaps that into left field. And a runner on with one down, Noah Hillman, now will come to the plate. Noah of the Rochester Rattlers has the at-bat with one away. Carter, uh, so a little bit, maybe a little bit nervous, a little bit amped maybe when you mm -hmm. headed out there. After a pitch or two, did that change? Yeah, it changed. I felt pretty good after it, and then just started pumping it. First year throwing the breaking ball, what have you been taught, maybe aside from the mechanics or the grip or the whatever it might be, what philosophically maybe, or I, I hope I can ask this the, way, the right way for you, what have you been taught about the curveball to this point as far as how you use it, how you don't use it? Um, you got to use it. If you're going to use it, you got to throw the snot out of it. If, and if you just try to place it, they're going to hit hit it pretty far. Throw the snot out of it. Did a coach say that? Yeah. yeah that's, that's great. That's good coaching. Throw the snot out of that thing. Yeah. Um, as far as, and, I, and I'm, I believe you're a guy who could probably handle that curveball, so I'm not going down that road at all. But here's what I'm thinking. What have you heard about how to handle a curveball physically at your age? Have you been taught anything on that yet? Um, just to, to keep, keep your arm healthy, I guess. Yeah. Just to keep your arm up and don't go sidearm okay on you know it's, it's, there's a big debate around that and there's one one rule of thumb is you don't throw a curveball until you're shaving is one thing people mm -hmm. teach uh basically the key is knowing how to throw it properly for good mechanics and also how to rehab yourself after throwing it mm -hmm. a lot so that you don't get your arm into trouble a guy like you obviously i'm watching you pitch going i hope your arm doesn't get in trouble because your guy needs to be pitching yeah. so I, I hope i hope that's going right for you I, I thought you did a great job pitching what when you look at those hitters well let's talk about this side of it you're working with a catcher who you've never met before tonight. Mm -hmm. Was that weird? No, it wasn't really weird. I've been on a lot of teams, so. Still just a glove back there? Yeah. But your catcher did a great job handling that last yeah. strikeout pitch. He did a nice job picking that up. I thought he uh, he handled his part of the transaction well, too. That was Bradley Johnson back there. Here's two-out pitch. This ball shot toward the middle. Tough bounce on the shortstop, and that will end up with Carter Martin's teammate taking that one up in the grill somewhere. Nick Braley had a play on the ball but couldn't quite flag that down on a tough hop. So the yeah. runner will score as the hard hit ball by Zach Beagle pays off. We'll give that an infield single for Beagle with two down. A couple of ground outs to third base and now a bouncer to shortstop that was a tough one. And you got your teammate playing out there at shortstop. What's it like to sit in here on the broadcast in the trailer, hanging out, being a big-time rock star and watching your teammate play short? Um, it's kind of fun to see him play. You want to break him down for us a little bit? You want to you um, work him a little bit? Yeah, I've known him for a long time. He's blazing fast. He can hit it pretty <laughs> far, and he plays shortstop a lot. Good. And uh, with two down here, we got a runner on one. That's Zach Beagle over there who drove in the run with his infield single. Jared Anderson, here's a ball hit toward second base. That will get just past the glove. Picked up in center, and they're yeah, going to take a shot at it to third base. That allows the runner to move up to second base with two down. Now a couple in scoring position here. For the Slump Buster Stars, Dankovic's single sends Beagle to third base, so with two away, and the score five to three, a chance to tie it up here for Zach Smith of Rochester Raptors. You're playing the Slump Buster this weekend, mm -hmm. Carter. You just pitched an inning of the All-Star game. You guys had games today, right? We had one, yeah. One game, all right, and uh, two tomorrow. Two tomorrow. Are yeah. you going to catch the College World Series while you're here? Yeah, Saturday night. Saturday night, and uh, I think that's Indiana-Louisville is the matchup that yeah. night. That's Two teams you don't actually, Indiana's never been in the College World Series. I'm not <laughs> sure if Louisville's been in before. There's a line oh. shot to third. Nice snag down at third base. So Jared Anderson works a nice inning as Dalton Hensley makes a couple of plays along with his, actually all three outs were made by Dalton, a couple of grounders and that line out. So one run scores, but it's still five to three. Triple Crown Stars on top. Slump Buster Stars will head to defense. So 
Carter will let you go back to your dugout, but the, uh, all I'm going to do here, I'm not even going to ask a question. As a, well, let's see. I want, actually, I might ask a question. We're going to go to your bio sheet. You filled out some information for us. Let's go ahead and pick up one of your hopefully strange things about you. Oh, well, here's a great one. There's two things I want to make sure we mentioned. One was when we said, what do we have to say about you on the webcast? You said, thank you, Dad, for teaching me how to pitch. Mm -hmm. And I'm a dad who has a kid, yeah. and I'll be honest, I wasn't going to admit this, but my son just pitched right there. Mm -hmm. That was him. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a kid, who, I'm a guy who just has my kid throwing, who I love working with. You and your dad just kind of enjoy going out and throwing the ball around, and he showed you some stuff? Hmm? Is, uh, did you and your dad just kind of go out and throw the ball around, and he just showed you some things and to help, um, you, help you learn it? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Just so that's that's Chris, right? Yeah. Your pops? Yeah. Well, Chris wanted to make sure you heard that uh, Carter says thank you. And the other thing that you put on here was you were born deaf. Yeah, I was born deaf, yeah. And so you have an implant. Mm -hmm. And would you say normal fine now? or? Yeah, it's pretty normal. But Well, we threw you on headset, and I was talking to you, and I would have never known the difference. And you got braces right now, too, so your teeth your teeth <laughs> been working you a little bit, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hey, good job tonight on your pitching inning. Great to watch you pitch. All right, have thanks. fun the rest of the night. That's Carter Martins, who thank joins you. us at the Slump Buster All-Star Game, and he'll head back to his dugout with his team up 5-3. to three.